Any man who reads too much and uses his own brain too little falls into the lazy habit of thinking. Einstein only wanted you to take action. Now, how come nobody else says this? Happens to be true. How many of you went to the Dalai Lama's 80th birthday? Nobody. I asked a question. Nobody did. Some of my uh, mentees did. Uh, and during his speech, and at the end, the last two hours, he's pitching for money. The Dalai. And his last two sentences, which I think are going to come up in a few slides, meditation is terrific. Prayer is terrific. And he names two or three other things. But taking action, action, action is the only thing that gets anything done. Some of you in this room meditate. I feel sorry for you. I've not meditated one microsecond my whole life. For those of you that have done courses, read books, podcasts, it's on the left-hand side. But you never connected the dots. You've never found anybody that never taught you how to connect the dots. And that's why, see, you controlled reading a book, going to a seminar, listening to a podcast, is taking action. It's not. It's procrastination, so you don't have to take action. It's procrastination, so you don't pull the trigger. There's only one form of taking action that's pulling the trigger and that's actually doing it. The Dalai Lama, at his 80th birthday, I was not invited. Some of my mentees were invited. At the end of his speech, he says, you can pray, you can meditate, you can do this, you can do that, but taking action, 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 is the only thing that you can get fine results. All the rest is mental masturbation. Remember timing. You operate in a cyclical economy and market, try to sell into an upwave. Now, I used to say this, and I'm going to say it again. If you're 40 years old or older, now I know some of that's on the borderline for a couple of you in here, because we got a guys in the a uh, few in the late 30s, but mostly in the early 30s, late 20s, and teens in here. If you're 40 years old or older and you're in an up market like now, sell. I don't give a fuck what industry, I don't give a fuck what business, I don't give a fuck what vertical you're in. Hit the bid, as they say, meaning there's a bid and an ask. Don't ask, just hit the fucking bid, because you may never see it this good again. And at 40, you still have plenty of time to do it again. Hit the fucking bid. Whether you're an insurance peddler, a virtual one like some of you, or a eyeball-to-eyeball -eyeball one like others of you in here, um, when I, you know, when I was selling insurance door to door, it wasn't something that we used to brag about. When I used to see the sun come up in that kitchen, you know, glittering off the teapots when the sun came up, but it was, it was where I learned my sales skills. People in general, they think that reading a book is taking action. They think listening to a podcast is taking action. They think uh, uh, a video or whatever it is is taking action. No! That's fucking procrastination. So you don't have to make a decision. So you don't have to pull the trigger. I mean, there's a big, huge difference. Take action. You know, the, the, uh, as, as you were taught, just fucking do it. I mean, um, Dalai Lama had his 80th birthday last year. Some of my mentees were invited. I wasn't. The Dalai... Did, uh, he didn't. He doesn't know me, or maybe he does know me, but he he didn't invite me. In his closing remarks, and uh, it's one of the slides that you got. It's that uh, praying is fine, meditation is fine, a bunch of other shit is fine, but it's take action, take action, take action. That is the only thing that counts. It's the fucking dolly. Saint Teresa, who I put my money on when she was just a goddamn uh, Mother Teresa. Same thing. Take action, take action, take action, all the rest is bullshit. You can pray, you can do all those things, but take action is the thing that differentiates you from everybody else. You're sitting here because of something that happened to you in your life that wasn't a good thing. You don't seek out professionals like him if your life was good. 
You seek out perfection like because you're a cunt. And you don't want to be a cunt anymore. I eat people like you for fucking breakfast. And the guys that I know, I mean, some of them, they say they can eat meat for breakfast, which is bullshit, but they think they can eat meat for breakfast. The answer, and as I've said countless times, the reason why you read all the stuff and you do the podcast and all this stuff, I've said it, you know, until I'm sick to my fucking stomach, is that because that way you don't have to take action. And you don't have to take action. So, well, reading, you know, you pretend yourself, and the YouTube kids pretend to themselves, uh, it, uh, alleviates the idea that you're failing. And if you pull the trigger and you fail, you fail for real. If you read something and it talks about failure, or it talks about leadership, or it talks about whatever, I mean, that's, it, it, it's, it's not a taking an action, so you equate it not to failure. It's like you, read, you can read all the books on martial arts you want. And until you step in the ring, as Michael Tyson in his infinite wisdom said, everybody's got a fucking plan until I hit him in the face. Well, yeah, you know, and as I've said, you know, again, here at least five times, I have never in 46 years of life seen a business plan that failed. I've never seen a business plan that failed.